What's up guys? It's your girl Stacy Cake, your host for What's Hot, and today I am here with a trailer reaction for the next installment of Joker. I'm so excited to just see this trailer. Like this is a raw reaction. I have not seen this trailer before at all. Um, it just was released, I think, last night. Um and I had to do it today. I had to do it today because I love the first one. Like, literally my obsession. Um, such a good film. Joaquin Phoenix, just chef's kiss. I loved it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to watch this trailer. And, yeah, let you guys know how I feel. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment. And let's just get into it. I can't wait no more. Woo! Okay. Let's get into it. Let's go, boys. It's showtime. Wakey, wakey. Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? Gaga. We use music to make us whole, to balance the fractures within ourselves. Pop of color in the midst of darkness. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. I'm gonna tell y'all why I made that face later. Harley Quinn? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So this is my reaction for Joker. Folie a deux. Folie a deux. Had to get the pronunciation of it. So folie a deux is French. Folie a deux. Let's see what that means. Madness for two. So folie a deux. Joker folie a deux. That's madness for two. Folie a deux is French. So, all right. Take my glasses off. Y'all. OMG. So, initial reaction, storyline. I start with storyline. So, storyline, he's in prison as he should be cuz I think at the end of the last one, he was murdering people in the psych ward. So, he is in like maximum security prison it looks like right now. Solitary confinement or some of some sort or like a super secure asylum for violent patients, one or the other. And based on the film like there were women around so that's why it makes me think it could be a mental health facility anywho i am excited to see him find love because i think if you saw the first one if you haven't seen the first one you need to watch it because what are you doing i am not censoring my talk if you haven't saw the first one by now don't skip ahead because i'm about to spoil some stuff yeah so in the first one he i feel like he just wanted love he just wanted to be accepted he just wanted to be appreciated and he had this desire to be loved and i think he is finding that in this film i think he is finding that 
So this is kind of like getting out of the storyline a little bit into the cinematography and the colors and like the film, the aesthetics of the film. But symbolically, the colors represent his found happiness in the film. So if you pay attention to the film in this trailer, so this is the official trailer teaser, by the way, um, but it felt like a full trailer to me because I'm just engulfed in it. But the colors tend to represent when he is feeling aligned, when he is feeling fulfilled, happy, and righteous in a way, in his own like twisted way. Um, and I think that is indicated in the trailer here with the umbrellas when he looked up to the sky and it was colorful umbrellas and kind of like this dark gloomy setting um i love the cinematography in joker um the the cool tones when you watch the film the cool filters is very like blue and i think it's perfect for who author is who joker is um and the blueness around him and he's kind of like becoming when he becomes Joker, he's it's like his alter ego, him, him out of his self. Because Arthur is kind of just this like weird kind of guy that falls in the background. But like Joker is a star and Joker is fly with the colors and popping green hair and makeup. Like Joker is fly, you know? In his own way, he's the flyest clown we know, you know? I think they do a really good job of carrying that over from Joker 1 to Fully Adu. Madness for two. <laughs> so yeah, I am just, I'm super excited. Now, let's get into casting. Um, oh, this is kind of entwined with casting in the storyline. So don't hate me, guys. I love Lady Gaga. I love Lady Gaga. She does a great job. A Star is Born. Loved that movie. Loved her in American Horror Story as well. So I see why she was selected for Harley Quinn. I get it. I completely get it. But with it was so unexpected what's what's the actress's name hold on i think it's zazie yes so i loved and i thought it was so i thought it was so unexpected that zazie was in the first one um in the first joker and before you see the plot twist like i thought she was really um his love interest and i was wondering was she harley quinn so i actually would have loved to see him you know with a black girl but you know wish for blanket i just thought it was like an unexpected twist and i i was here for it i loved it but i understand like i also enjoyed the twist in the first one and i understand why that couldn't be but what i don't like what i do not like is they stole zazie's gunpoint from the first one and now he doing it with another chick i mean no shade the guy got but how you gonna take your thing with your old boo and bring it to the asylum with, with your new boo? It, 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 even though Zazie her, was the neighbor, she wasn't really his boo. He was just the Lulu. I still feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Like, they couldn't come up with their own thing. Why they had to take Zazie's thing in the elevator? That was, and then he gonna take it to and give it to, to Harley? Harley, first of all, Harley is her own thing. So Harley could come up with her own little crazy twisted thing, whatever she gonna do. I don't know. She could have did the chopper. Ch -ch -ch. Could have stole the L's from TikTok. But don't steal Zazie's gunpoint. Like, I don't know. Wasn't I'm not a fan of that. But otherwise, I think Gaga is gonna kill it. Um, I completely see why she was chosen for the role. Like, it makes sense. Um... And I have no doubt that she's going to do a great job and I'm going to love it because I honestly loved it in the trailer. I feel like it's going to be more fantasy and more, it's going to be more clear when he's daydreaming or when he's fantasizing in this film. Whereas in the first one, we were kind of unsure on what his real story was because he was kind of proven to be an unreliable narrator based on him being in the mental asylum him kind of making up stuff and saying like oh when when the doctor asked him what was funny he was like it was a joke she said i like to hear it he said oh you wouldn't get it so like it 
it's kind of like is his life was a joke or was he just kind of making it all up and um i remember i read an article that was explaining that he was an unreliable narrator so it was intended to leave the viewer questioning what was real that we watched and what wasn't and if any of it was real or all of it was just a joke that he made up in his mind so quite literally i'm hoping we figure out is any of this real like is anything from the first one real like that's what the lingering question for me because it was just so good y'all i'm gonna tell you like i'm obsessed with this movie i am obsessed with this movie like i really want to go to the premiere for this like y'all please subscribe so i can get to the premiere like i can get some real content for y'all because i freaking love the joker this is one of those movies where it's like no i don't agree with what he did but i understand and when you watch how he was just so beat down no matter how much he tried like it's just something that i feel like i just can relate to so much especially like in this point in my life like it's just crazy how how like relatable it was but like he was literally trying like he was literally trying to be a good person and it's just like everybody he looked up to everybody he trusted hurt or abandoned him in some way and it was just it just it just was such a touching film and crazy and cynical and uh, it just it, it gets the people going you know so yeah i have no doubt that this movie is going to be excellent it comes out in the fall i'm gonna i'm gonna be there opening weekend hopefully i'm speaking into existence i'm gonna be at the premiere y'all where at warner brothers i'm gonna be at the premiere i'm gonna be at the premiere for joker fully ado man is for two um yeah so that's just i could talk about this movie all freaking day but that's my initial reaction to the trailer um i think wardrobe is not really like other i love his colorful suits i love obviously the standard joker makeup highlight for the trailer was when she threw the um drew the lipstick on the glass and the um it looks like they were talking through like a jail glass um and when Lady Gaga drew the little red lipstick smile on there and he smiled and it fit his smile perfectly. Ah! Drove me crazy. Like, I just think they hit it on the head with this film in every way, every aspect. And so my expectations are high and I have no doubt that they are going to meet them with this. I'm just so excited to see what is revealed about Arthur and like what is real <laughs> I'm hoping they give us a little bit of what is real in his life because this is just amazing and I hope Joaquin didn't have to get so skinny again for this because he was skinny in the first one okay like I don't know if that was Ozempic back then or what but my boy was bones and skin okay I need whatever diet he was on for the summer but yeah again thank you guys for watching make sure you like share subscribe and comment and let me know your thoughts below see you next time